Let's start by looking at a previous display from a couple years ago. You can see a lot of variety of shapes and sizes, so you don't want yours to look exactly like your neighbors, okay? Some of these I want to point out that they're almost super rectangular. We are not going for this, okay? We're going for some unique shapes like the middle left green one, the top right green one, the bottom black one. Um, be unique, come up with a unique shape for your frame, such as this one. You will start by needing a ruler. You need pencil um, so that you can do this very lightly in case you don't like how it looks. The very first thing we need to make sure we do is create enough negative space around the head. However, we don't want to get too close to the edge of the paper because our frame paper will be the exact same size as the paper that we have done our artwork on, okay? So don't get too close to the edge of the paper, but you're going to start creating straight lines um, to create a unique shape around your subject. When you have the lines how you want them, you can go back over them a little bit darker if they're hard to see. But you're gonna start out very lightly. When you're done, you will cut out, making sure to cut on the inside of the line so we don't see any pencil. If you do see any pencil, make sure you take the time to erase that. Here's the size of our frame paper and I will have lots of different colors for you to choose from. No matter the shape of your frame, you want to angle it to where you're getting the thickest frame possible on the paper. So check all of your corners and make sure that they're not getting too close to any edges of the paper. If you have a small one, you are pretty much free to put it wherever, okay? Be careful when gluing because you don't want this to move because that charcoal can smudge, okay? So make sure that when you do, press it down, go around the edges first, then get a piece of scratch paper. Make sure it does not move as well and press down the center. You will have to work quickly with glue sticks because they do tend to dry very quickly and they don't work the best for keeping construction paper together, but it will do for now. When you have it all secure, bring it over to me and I will use my little cutter to cut out most of the outside lines. If you have any inside indentations, you will have to cut those out with scissors as you just saw me do. So looking at this finished one, it appears that the light is coming from the upper right hand corner. Okay, so the tops and kind of right sides of things are getting the light, the highlights, and then the bottom left hand areas are where the light is not hitting, so those will be shadowy. So we're going to pretend that the light is coming from the upper right hand side. Um, pretend that this pencil is the light and that will help you kind of see where you think the light is actually hitting and where the light is not hitting. You will carefully deposit your highlights and shadows in the right places depending on where you think that light is and is not. When you have deposited it in the areas that you want, you will blend it out. Always, always though, make sure that if you get black charcoal on your actual piece of paper, 
take the time to erase it carefully. That neatness does matter.